These positions are extremely close to the occupied city of Horlivka in Ukraine's Donetsk region. Not far away, there's the Mayorsk checkpoint, controlling the movement of people to and from the occupied territory. Due to this fact, the fighting has its peculiarities here. It's a pattern. During the day, everything is quiet. And when twilight comes, the opponent begins its provocations. Sometimes it's quiet for several days, and then they start shooting. The checkpoint closes, and in an hour or so, the shooting starts. At 8 p.m., the checkpoint stops its work until 6 in the morning. The movement of civilians is blocked. Military positions report on the situation. The enemy is at the shooting distance. Even the quietest sound causes suspicion. <laughs> There's buzzing in my ears. It's very noticeable in complete silence. You stand and listen to various sounds. Where there's movement, there's something happening. It's pressuring the ears and even the brain. It's quiet now, but the quietness can stop any second. The silence is broken by the sounds of machine guns and explosions. This footage shows the occupation forces firing at the Svitlodarsk bulge a few kilometers away. Meanwhile, near Mayorsk, everything is quiet. There wasn't a single attack at this position at night. Along the entire line of defense maintained by the joint forces, there is a strict rule. If the enemy weapons are quiet, Ukrainian fighters don't fire. The soldiers are prepared for any turn of events. Meanwhile, there's time to have a snack and rest. A foxhole is the only place where soldiers can hide from the enemy. It's damp, but safe. The weapons are always at hand, and as experience proves, it's not in vain. When the checkpoint closes and darkness comes, the militants start firing. They work from neighboring positions, from the opponent's checkpoints. And from several places, because various types of weapons can be heard. The sooner the soldiers fire back, the more chance they have to survive the shooting. This time, the enemy uses small arms. Therefore, so do the Ukrainian soldiers. The reprisal fire was successful. The militants fall silent until the morning. The surrounding nature is in contrast with the neighboring railway depot. Before the war, it was an active transport hub where many locals worked. Now it's a ghost station, destroyed by military artillery. It reminds civilians and soldiers about the aftermath of the arrival of the so-called Russian world.